Insulin prices have been rising for the past 20 years, and a few weeks ago, the president called for lowering insulin prices in his State of the Union speech. Our Griffin Wright joins us this morning with the importance of affordable insulin for Iowans. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Jody. So insulin prices can get as high as $600 a month, which is a steep cost for anyone. For people with lower incomes, they may have to decide between groceries and their essential medicine. Doctors have, been, have seen the burdensome cost of insulin drive some patients to ration the medication, which can have deadly consequences. Only a few years ago, a 28, in 2018, a man from Dubuque died after rationing his insulin. Something you may not know is that there are different types of insulin, long-acting and short-acting, and diabetic people need both. There are newer versions of insulin which are the most effective for treating diabetes, but with the out-of-control costs, people are struggling to afford their life-saving medicine. With that kind of expense, people are struggling. So it's hard for me when a patient's insulin is working well for him, the long acting and the short acting. And now I have to put them on these older insulins. Those don't mimic nature as well. So I've had many patients like that. I have had patients who would just ration insulin. And I say, no, I'll switch you to a cheaper insulin. But do, whatever you do, don't ration your insulin. But people struggle, and not just poor people, middle class. It's expensive. It's way too expensive. Dr. Bargava says that the solution isn't easy. Lawmakers, drug and insurance companies all need to come together to make this non-optional medicine affordable. $600 a month, really expensive for a lot of folks. Thanks so much, Griffin.